Hello, scientists. Welcome to Draw Bound Med. Uh, so uh, I will be drawing antibody today, and also you can see that I'm not in my regular studio. I am about to board a train uh, to Den Helder, uh, no, uh, to Texel, which is an island uh, in the Netherlands. I couldn't finish this this tutorial before setting off for my trip, uh, so yeah, that's how uh, that's uh, so I ended up that I have to produce everything while being on the train. So let's get into it. So this will be the kind of uh, antibody that I will be drawing in this video. So first let's grab our pen tool and uh, draw a bented line like that. Ooh, that's too much. Okay. And then uh, that's th this will be the this is the heavy chain of our antibody. And I will increase the thickness to eight points thick, and then I'll come to appearance, stroke, round cap, and round joint. Okay, uh, that's good. And I'll zoom in a little bit, and then let's grab our pen tool again and draw our light chain, like so. Um, here uh, you, I, you can adjust the angle of the chains a little bit uh, like that okay good and also uh, make sure that um, these are parallel to the transition over here okay good um, then we can come to object and expand this shape and we are only expanding the stroke part okay um, so let's ungroup the uh, expansion and after you ungroup it then you'll see these has become an object that you can put fill in so that's now uh, put the fill into our antibody okay this is a little bit too saturated uh, I've come to color guide to tone it down like that okay good and also the outline I can make it a little bit uh, grayer oh no that's the fill let's go to outline and make it gray Okay, great, and um, so uh, how do we create this uh, blue part, which is the antigen binding part? Uh, so first, let's uh, copy it and paste on top. I'll move it to over here. Uh, okay, let's delete that part and these additional parts. First, let's draw a line that is uh, in tension with the ending of our antibody. And then move it down to around halfway and select everything and use our Pathfinder tool to divide the shape. Okay, that's good. Let's delete these parts. And we can move it over here and give it a blue color. And also, I'll tone it down a little bit. So, that's how you create the integer binding part. And if you want to have a seamless transition like uh, the example over here, then uh, I need to do something uh, extra. That is, first remove the outline of the antigen binding part and then uh, expand your uh, orange part again, but this time both fill and stroke. And then ungroup your uh, orange part. So by doing this, you can extract the outline of your uh, 
orange uh, part. So now you can move the outline to the top and then cover both uh, of the colors. So now you have a seamless transition over here. Okay, good. And I will do a minor adjustment, which is I'll move these a little bit inward. Okay, and I'll group it. And make a duplicate of it. And then use reflect tool to reflect it vertically. And do some minor adjustments. And uh, that is an antibody uh, for your graphical abstract. I'll group uh, it to all together and then scale it down. So now you can freely duplicate it and then uh, yeah, just toss it around to make it like uh, the antibodies that's flowing in the plasma. So uh, yeah, I hope this can help you with your graphical abstract. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to Drawbell Matt for more graphical abstract tutorials. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.